Time to figure out who's got the bigger So if you guys are already following the channel, you're already a little bit familiar with the centrifuge. I talked about it on my last video. On this video, we're gonna go way more in depth on the process of centrifugation and why we use a centrifuge, and we're gonna have fun with it. A centrifuge is a very important tool for dog breeders, so I do recommend you having one. It's tools like this that allow you to really earn the term advanced breeder. Because like we talked about before, using a centrifuge will 100% Hands down, it's not an opinion, it's a fact. It will increase your breeding success. And if you wanna learn more about increasing your breeding success, I invite you to check out the Advanced Breeders Network. Link is in the description. I'm gonna deliver the information a little bit differently today about the centrifuge. I'm gonna give you a detailed description with the proper terminology, and then I'm gonna explain it in a more simple way to understand. And we're gonna have fun with it today. We're gonna to see who's got the bigger wiener. Any of you kids want another wiener? That's definitely not what's going on today. But now that I got your attention, check out this amazing deal from the Advanced Breeders Network. The ABN Pro Breeder Bundle will give you access to our virtual whelping guide, our puppy medical guide, and give you the opportunity to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with one of our expert breeders. But that's not it. You even receive $175 in breeder supplies so you're prepared for that next litter. This is a limited time opportunity, so don't miss out. Pellet, a Frenchie or a Cane Corso? We're gonna pull them both. We're gonna spin down the samples. And then we're gonna see who's got the bigger pellet. Remember, it's techniques like this that make you an advanced breeder. So like I was saying, it's not an opinion that using a centrifuge will increase your breeding success. It's a fact. So let's go over why. Significance of semen concentration. Your breeding success heavily relies on the quality and quantity of semen used during the process. Semen concentration refers to the number of sperm cells present in a given volume of ejaculate. Higher semen concentration ensures a greater number of healthy and motile sperm, increasing the likelihood of successful fertilization. Centrifugation is a laboratory technique when you use a centrifuge to separate different components of a liquid sample based on their density. In this case, dog semen. Centrifugation is employed to concentrate the sperm cells by removing excess seminal plasma and non-sperm debris. This process enhances the overall quality and motility of the sperm, enhancing the chances of successful breeding. We're gonna get rid of the stuff that's in the way and the bad semen, and it's gonna concentrate just the good semen. It's gonna improve the semen quality. By concentrating the sperm cells, centrifugation helps eliminate non-motile and abnormal sperm, ensuring only the healthiest and most viable ones are used for the breeding. This significantly increases the probability of fertilization. Let me break that down. So, a dog is only gonna absorb about two to three mLs. So if you take an 8cc collection and you throw all eight cc's in there, five or six of that's gonna come out, only two or three are gonna get absorbed, and only the semen that's in that two or three cc's is gonna get absorbed and have a chance at fertilization. Now imagine if you spun that sample down to a semen pellet and used just enough prostatic fluid along with that pellet say two cc's. So let's say we condense all the semen that's in the sample down into a two cc sample and then inseminate with that. Now all the semen got in there. Not only did all the semen get in there, but the bad ones and the not good ones that might get in the way and inhibit the other ones are out of the way. So obviously that's gonna increase your chances. A higher concentration of sperm cells in a given volume of semen provides a greater number of sperm available for fertilization. This maximizes the chances of successful breeding and increases the probability of conception. Did I already read that? I might have. Reduces inhibitory factors. Centrifugation eliminates potential inhibitory factors present in the seminal plasma that may hinder sperm function. This ensures that sperm cells are in an optimal environment promoting successful fertilization. All right, let's go over what you're gonna need or what you're gonna use. These are semen collection bags, or you can just use a regular Ziploc. You don't need this for what we're doing today, 
but I recommend using a semen collection bag. You're gonna need some syringes to pull the semen out and transfer it into your tube. And that's really all we need today because we're not doing an insemination. Here's your girlfriend. Your old girlfriend. All right, stand up, big boy. Stand up. So you're just getting under there. You're grabbing that gland. You're squeezing it. It's gonna start swelling up. Once it starts swelling up, you kind of do this twist, where you kind of twist it back and get the penis to come out of the sheath like it is right now. And then you'll feel him start pulsating like he is right now. And he's already doing his thing, just that quick. Now it only takes a couple minutes to do a collection. The semen's only coming out for the first two, three minutes. Everything after that is prostatic fluid. All right, so we got our, so we got our collection. It's not that hamburger. So we got our collection. Magilla Gorilla, Magilla Gorilla, Magilla Gorilla, Magilla Gorilla. Now typically you're gonna want a teaser female. Um, we're just having fun with it today, so it's not even like I'm shipping out a sample or anything. What I would do, let's say I had an out-of-town stud service and none of my girls are in heat. What I would hopefully happen is one of my girls would be in heat and I would use her for a teaser female. Or I would call a friend, hopefully he has a girl in heat, use it for a teaser female. Or what you can do and I know this is gonna sound nasty, but in my freezer, I have a diaper in a plastic bag from when one of my girls was in heat. Mary just likes to be in all my videos, apparently. Every time I get in here and start talking to you guys, Mary just starts barking until I have to let her out. We'll be confirming Mary here soon, so look out for that video. Bless you, hamburger. Put that thing away. Put that thing away, McGill Gorilla. All right, got our McGill sample. All right, here we go. Time to figure out who's got the bigger pellet. You can see the collection sizes are completely different. Much bigger collection. I mean, this is huge. I don't even know if I want to spin all this. And then we got about two to three cc's over here of McGill. We probably got 20 cc's over here. Look, I'm not spinning all this down. Look at all this. I have 13 mLs in here and I still have all this. We're just gonna spin these 13 mLs from Drago. All right, so you see we collected the semen in the bag. We used the syringe to transport the semen over to the vial. We have 13 mLs we're gonna put in here. Now, when using your centrifuge, it's important that you have an even weight distribution. Otherwise, it's gonna jump all over the place. So, we're putting 13 mLs in. That means the slot across from it, we're gonna need 13 mLs of water. All right, and now we're gonna spin it. And now we're gonna spin it for just over 1500 RPMs for two minutes. So you never wanna exceed 1800 RPMs. I've always been told anything over 1800 RPMs will damage the semen. So like I just told you, I recommend spinning it at just over 1500 RPMs for two minutes. Meanwhile, let's see what Magilla gave us. Now, if I was gonna be doing a breeding, I would probably use a pipette on the end of this to pull the semen out, it makes it a lot easier, but it's just not necessary. So it looks like he gave us two and a half mLs. I'm gonna get approximately two mLs of fluid ready in this container for when I spin Megillas. 
All right, let's see what we got. There's our pellet. So out of 13 mLs, that is all your semen right there. All the rest of that is prostatic fluid. So there's Drago sample. Now remember, this is me just pulling him off cuff. He was just pulled yesterday. I had no teaser female. So if he had a breeding, he would have been on supplements. I would have had a teaser. The process would have went down a lot differently and I would have got a lot better of a collection out of him. But today we're just having fun and I'm teaching you about the centrifuge. I think I was out of focus for that shot. So I just put Megillah's semen in here, two and a half cc's. We're spinning that, two minutes, same process, and we'll see who's got the bigger pellet. I hope this makes you more comfortable with the centrifuge now, because if you are a dog breeder, or you do have breedings coming up in the future, and you wanna increase your success, centrifugation is the way to go. After we compare the pellets, we'll then look at it under the microscope. Here we go. So the white writing is Megilla, the black is Drago. All right, there's our pellets. Black writing is Drago. 13 cc's spun down. On the right, the white is Megilla, the Frenchie. Two and a half cc's spun down. And look at the pellet size. Megilla's pellet is almost as big as Drago's and that's only with two and a half cc's. That tells us that Megillah's semen was much denser than Drago's. But it does look like Drago won the battle. The Corso had the bigger pellet. That is what motile semen look like. They're alive, they're attacking. So I hope this helped you guys out. Make sure you like and subscribe to support the channel. If you don't already have your centrifuge, BigBoneBulldogs.com, go get yours.